Hello everyone out there, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbed Designs. If you're joining me for the first time, I want to encourage you to please hit on the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any video each time I upload a new video. Okay, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to export your vector to high quality image from CorelDRAW directly. So, I'm going to you know, like now I'm having these two images here. These are two works I did with CorelDRAW. So I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to export this into a very high quality for me to for me to be able to print it with a high quality. And now you can see by the time I zoom this out, you can see despite the zooming, all the whole text they are still the right top images they are still showing properly very well because also see this second one here the same thing when i zoom you can see everything is showing clearly even together with the images so i'm going to be showing you how to export it so that you won't lose all this quality when you export okay let's go right to what i'll be showing you now Okay, now let's export this and see. By the time I want, I export. Okay, I'm going to hit on my export button. Then I'm going to be saving to desktop. Okay, let me create a, a new folder. Let me name them. Okay, let me just name it export. Now I'm going to let me rename it as. Let me see. A. I'm going to rename it as A and OK. From here, I'm going to hit on export. Now, click on export. Now, this is where the main work is now. How to set this particular page up. Now, we can see we have custom from here. What you're going just going to do? come here, we are going to pick high the high quality pick the high quality then you come down here on quality you have custom you're going to choose i'm going to pick the highest you can see it was initially 80 percent now i'm going to pick when i pick highest it's going to be 100 percent so i'm going to scroll down a little i'll come to transformation most people don't usually make use of this particular aspect but this is where the beauty of this is now we have here on our resolution you have several resolution like now let me reduce one here let me say 100 percent resolution okay now let me export this i'm going to be exporting this in let me say three to four phase okay let me do it in three phase so when I'm going to export it in three phase, one with 100 resolution, let me do that quickly. Okay, I think that's all. Okay, now I'm going to now export it again. And so, okay, I didn't save it in the folder I created. Okay, let me just ignore. Okay, this second one I'm going to save it as B. Now, export. I'm going to do the same thing. The same thing highest. Then scroll down on this. I'm going to make it 300 and save. Okay. After doing that, I'm exporting again for the third time. This time around, this one is C. Then export the same settings I'm going to do now. Highest, then scroll down on this part now. I'm going to do my enter a custom let me say for example i'm using 1000 1000 resolution one thing you need to understand here now the higher your resolution the higher 
your quality of your job is going to be you can see this time around it's even taking a little time to okay i think this is it i'm now going to go to where i have that particular image okay now here are the here are the three images have them let me just bring them to this folder so that we can be able okay let me open up the folder here are the three images you can see the first one the a you can even see from the size here i have it as 33 kilobytes the second one has 70 722 kilobytes 72 kilobytes and i'm having the third one as 3.83 megabytes okay now let's click open them and see okay here is it here. this is what we have now you can see by the time i that particular image the one with a the one saved as, as a the first one you can see when i zoom you can see that you cannot see the work any longer it's becoming blurry it's not actually showing us it work very well so now let's see the second one i save as b the second one i save as b you can see it's actually bigger and a bit is brighter also by the time i zoom you can see when i zoom up to this extent you can see it's not actually too bright okay now let's see the third image the one has i saved as c the one i saved as c you can see this is the one i saved as c now let's increase this and see you can see the, as i increase you can see it's still very very bright so you can see the difference i'm actually showing you this especially from the even from the main images it's going to be the something when i zoom in you can see it still retains its sharpness and quality you can see even from here the same thing then let me return it to the other one so that you see okay like this one now if i should zoom in you can see it's becoming blurry all right thanks for watching i guess you might have learned a lot from this video okay this is where i'm going to stop for today until next time don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any video when I upload. Until next time, bye for now.